Uh, today I was going to run down and give you my uh, February wrap up of my reading. So let's dive on in. Uh, so given it was Black History Month, I decided to pick up, I picked up the colour purple, which is a story told in Letters by Alice, and it's by Alice Walker. There is a queer romance in here. It is set in the South during what I believe to be slavery times. I could be wrong. Um, I enjoyed it. I found it an important read. Uh, however, with the way I'm now rating my books, which I will link those down below, which is the Cool Pile Method, uh, which looks at a range of different aspects that go into reading. I gave this three stars. Then I moved on to my other book, which was for buzzword -a -thon, which was A Fall Now Stars by John Green. This also got three stars. This is a young adult contemporary novel. We follow Hazel. Hazel as she enters into a youth support group to appease her mum uh, because she has cancer and she meets a lovely boy called Augustus Waters and falls in love and that's going on. However, I did find this a bit uh, awkward at times due to some family stuff of I have a young cousin who has gone into remission but they had a serious illness around the same age so it was a bit closer to home than I thought it would be. Then I will go on to my, uh, the covers up here. So again, I read another author of colour and that was Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Aversto, which is a collection of short stories with queer characters in it that follows 12 different stories that interconnect, that interconnect with um, each other. I then had a library book that I read which was Tender as the Flesh which I've mentioned a few times on this channel which is a horror in translation where a virus has wiped out the human ability to eat animal meat and has then pushed us to eat human meat. This one was that I gave four stars and I also gave woman, girl woman other four stars as well. And then the final book I managed to finish in the month of February, which was uh, The Dawn Chorus, which is a little novella that goes in between, oh, by Samantha Shannon, that goes in between The Song Rising and The Mask Falling that was released in February as well. It's really interesting. I enjoyed it. Uh, the Bone Season is one of my favourite series, which is a dystopian adult world where fantasy twists because in this world clairvoyancy is not allowed uh, but our main character Claire, uh, Paige Mahoney is a clairvoyant and then the, it starts with her getting captured um, and she believes she's going to be executed and she's not she's taken to a different place and that's where it all goes up for her there um, however, I found this one a little confusing, but that's more because I don't think I rem remember exactly what happened in the first three books. So, with that being said, I think I gave this four stars as well. So I had a really good reading month in February. Um, so I would love to know what your favourite book of the month was. Thank you and goodbye for now.